Hey guys, Fractured here and welcome to Insurmountable. This is uh, kind of like a board hex climbing game um, and it's published and developed by Bite Rocker Games, released 29th of April this year, just a few days ago. And we are this climber, we have to confront various terrains as a lonely mountaineer and endure the countless dangers of climbing. Many tough decisions await us in a risky environment so we have to make our way up the mountains and overcome insurmountable heights and this is currently 10 percent off on the steam store so if you're interested do check it out so this is the first time i've launched it we are going to go obviously for a new game and see what happens looks very cool though i do like the graphic style gives me and that's not really the same but it gives me frost punky feels if you know what i mean so we have an adventurer um as a dried in the wall adventurer you're always on the lookout for the next big challenge we have a scientist uh, ambition scientist you'll walk the fine line between genius and insanity and a journalist as an investigative journalist you'll travel the world to expose major scandals i think we might try the adventurer i think we get different things depending on what we do so we have sprint tent obviously allows us to rest in a tent climbing gloves and canned food this one we have an eagle eye it gives us um, a different view i guess uh, analysis tent hiking staff and fur gloves and this one gives a single mindedness uh, fur gloves climbing axe sounds good heavy boots and hot tea uh, if it was coffee i might go for that but let's go adventurer okay let's have a look right you do down the into the binary depths of the oceans in search of lost treasure researched long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforests and unearthed ancient ruins in endless deserts no adventure has was ever big enough for you and nothing ever got in your way now a new challenge awaits you a remote island long concealed behind a blanket of fog a mountain range of which there is no record and the peaks that tower into the heavens are just waiting to be scaled this is a stuff of adventurer's dreams and your chance to take your name to the history books. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay, so we have normal. It looks like hard and insurmountable are actually locked. Okay, so can we make it to the top? And it's just standard difficulty. But yeah, let's um, choose this one. Yes, we'll reassure because I can't choose anything else. And also we've got different mountains. And we can only go for mountain one. Okay, we've got different routes, which is quite good. Um, so we've got firm snow and severe storms, thick air and cold nights, or stable ice and tough terrain. Let's go for the first one. I think if we stick with the first one, so we know what we've done then. And if you do like it, I can always do some more episodes. Here we go. Okay, as you stand at the base of the mountain looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map all these years? Are the rumours about the group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here risking your life. Okay. Right, camera control, middle mouse, yeah. Quickly flick through these, so yeah, this is like the hex style map that I was telling you about. Path control, so we can left click and then right click to remove. Okay. okay I think we'll skip past those because I don't want you to be bored. That's fine. Okay, so this is us down here. We can zoom in. Which you can go in quite a lot actually. And then we. Oh, yeah. 
then we can zoom in and out. Let's have a look. Can we actually see what we've got to get to? Ah, I take it it's this section up here. Wow, that's quite a way to go. Right. I will get used to the camera. <laughs> so which, I think we're going to have to go this way. Oh, we've got things as well. So I wonder whether we I think if we go down this way, but let's go here. And I think it's double click to move. There we go. Okay, and we're off. I wonder what this looks like. People, I don't know, talking or something. So here we've got sanity, temperature, uh, energy and oxygen. I guess you have oxygen issues as we go up higher. A blood-curdling scream rends the air. You stop abruptly and listen. The scream is followed by a snarl. You cautiously creep towards the source of the terrible noise. Behind a rock you see a hunter armed with only a knife, locked in a struggle with a cougar. His face is streaked with blood. The hunter's pack is lying on the ground nearby. You could grab it and he would never see you. Oh, well, I feel bad. I wonder if we could... Let's let's just do the silly thing and help. With a defending yell, you rush towards the animal and attempt to tackle it as the last second it ducks out from under you. And in a flash, it's on top of you. Its claws buried deep in your flesh. We're dead already. <laughs> you grapple for a long while before the animal releases you and vanish behind the cliff. The hunter has also disappeared. Days and intriguing pain you hobble it off and find a safe place to tend to your work. Oh, we didn't get anything. Ah, oh, I should have stole his backpack. That's no good. Yeah, I don't know if I need to change this because up is down and down is up. I don't like it that way, but that's fine. So I think if we have a wander over here, let's go this way. Not too much climbing going on there. We have got something up there. That looks like a, another situation. Is it worth it? We only lost a bit of energy, so that's not too bad. Yeah, let's go up here. This looks obviously like a bigger climb. Um, and I'm guessing from looking at this, it tells you how much of your energy it's, you're going to lose by doing that climb. So that's quite good. Hidden behind a wall of rock, you discover a snowed in shack. It looks abandoned. You must have stumbled across a guard post of a former occupiers. Okay, let's go inside. There's an unpleasant smell in the air, but you cannot pinpoint its source. Beneath a folding cot, you discover a thick clump of fur with torn out pages next to it. You are just about to take a closer look at the pages when you hear a snarl from outside. Um, yeah, look at the pages. There are hand-drawn sketches of cougars. They show the animals in the natural habitats, including mountainous regions. Suddenly you hear another snarl close this time. A cougar here. That can't be, or can it? I, I want to stay in search. We might find stuff. I like finding stuff, you know what I'm like. You find some provisions in a locker. Just as you are tucking them in your pack, you feel something sharp pierce your shoulder. Without a second thought, you slam your elbow into the attacker's face and flee the shack. You hear wild snarling coming from behind you. You need to put some distance between yourself and the shack before you can treat your wound. Okay, so here we've got our status. So our health, um, we're obviously losing that. Where's that? Oh, this is our health here. That's fine. Okay. Um, we found a tent. We have, is that food or energy? I'm not sure what that is. And experience. Okay. This is our backpack. 
Uh, canned food, yeah. So we'll take the canned food. We'll take a spare tent because I don't know what the situation is going to be in regards to tents, if they last or anything like that. Oh, level up. Should we have a look? I oh, know I can't level up yet. Right. Don't know what that kind of symbol is, but we'll head that way. Um, energy isn't too bad. I'm not going to be super fast at this, I can guarantee that, because I like to look at everything, you know me. Right, let's head this way. This is very cool, I do like this. I hope you like it. I know I'm not doing a lot at the minute. Um, I'm still, well, there's three games pending on release. Um, so I'm still waiting for. Dave, I'm planning on retiring and I'd like to do a stalker run. Um, let's see how much energy this takes. So if we left click here, you can see that little red bit right there. That's how much energy it's going to take from us. What's this? Okay. Cool down 24, duration 3 hours. Okay. I don't know how fast time goes. We've got like a clock here. So it's still, well, early morning-ish. Yeah, 11. 11 o'clock. Right, yeah, so let's go up here. I would like to have Moosey. I don't know what that symbol means, but I guess we'll just learn them as we go. Oh, a golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical, fully wrapped up in the moment. You regain. We regain warmth. Sanity. Um, we're okay for both of those. We'll just go warmth, we haven't got any other options there. So that's quite cool. They're like maybe like events, but not deadly events. Oh, look, that could be stuff. Looks like a chest. Can we? Oh, I... oh, hold oh, sorry, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get a view of where we're going again. I think it's that way. I'd like to see if there's any stuff in that. Where was that again? What's over here? It's a bit of a detour. Um, how much energy will that use? We're going to start to get tired soon. Yeah, let's go that way. Very cool. I do like the fact that you can zoom in like that. We are going to be tired soon. Um, but I would like to go over here. I will get used to the movement. I might actually... Oh, she stopped. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. And then we'll come up this way, hopefully. Oh, is that a cave? It looks like a cave symbol. I wonder if you can rest them or they're like danger places. I could lower my sensitivity down on the mouse as well, I think. What have we got? Have we got any goodies? I'd like goodies. Hopefully we've got enough energy to get up there. I can't see why not. Okay, under a tarp you discover a large empty cage. Tufts of brownish fur are stuck between the bars. With empty. So that will take nine. I was like, yeah. Oh, actually it shows you when you hover over it. Continue journey. Let's have a look. You find a backpack full of equipment in the corner. Oh, look, crampons. They'll be good, right? Do we just put them on feet? Okay. So, crampons. Oh, 
crampons. So less 20% energy on ice. Well, I guess they'll be good if we're going to be hitting ice. No level up options yet. Okay. Right, so... I think we'll see if we can get to this cave. It's only take a bit of energy, that's okay. I hope it's not a bear cave. <laughs> I do like it's actually kind of relaxing as well. The music's quite nice. Chilled out a bit here. You enter the cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Oh god. You know I'm gonna to want to explore it. We are an explorer, aren't we? An adventurer. You want to explore the tunnel, but it's dark that you can't see your hands in front of your face. Okay. Oh, I've got no choice. Oh no. I've got to go then. Bugger. <laughs> okay, you wander through the darkness after a while your hands find an object on the ground. It feels unusual. Explore the object with my hands. You find some equipment. We have some XP and hot tea. I should have done coffee. Return to the cave entrance. It will take the I'll take the coffee or the tea. Um lie down and sleep. I think maybe we stay here because our energy is quite low. So let's sleep. So we have a long sleep. How much? So if we have a short one, that's only going to take us to early night time. Long sleep. Yeah, let's have a long sleep. Oh, okay, okay, so and then we go on to the, uh, oh, it's going to be night time. Oh, can't see very well. I think we had to go this way, wasn't it? Yeah, that looks very cool over there. So I guess we can go this way, yeah. And see if we can find any more stuff as well. We're still a little bit tired. We have got some energy back, so that's okay. Not can't really see, which is a another cave, and we have got some stuff up there as well. So let's head to here. Well, that's quite a big climb, isn't it? Can we go up this one instead? Yeah, let's go on that one. That's cool. So, is it worth having a look at the cave? We might as well. I just want to look at everything. I'm so bad. Okay, you enter a cave, a dry sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, and it is a faint shimmer of light. Follow the light. <laughs> you follow the light as you approach. You realise that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Right, return to the... Oh, have we got a level up option there? Um, I think we'll leave the cave. And we'll go and see if we've got any supplies. Watch the level up options. Choose a specialisation. Flat terrain expert. Okay, reduce energy costs on all terrain. Night climber. Or consumables. Comfort the home. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some sanity. That's sanity, isn't it? Okay.
That's all terrain. I might go for that one. Although, is it worth having something for sanity? Because it has gone down, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess we can... Equipment. Okay, I guess we're on ice, so we'll use those. Traits. How do we get into our backpack anyway? Oh, it's down here. So, we're not really cold. We could probably eat. How do we eat that? Let's stick it there. I don't know how you eat it. Oh, here we go. Right. Right click use. There we go. Oh, that gave some sanity and some, uh, what's it? That's cool. Right, let's carry on. I want to see if we've got any goodies here. On a rocky ledge, a few feet below you, you spot a tree stump with wild herbs growing on it. Do we need the herbs? That uses a lot of energy, doesn't it? Is that energy? Yeah. I think we'll just continue. I'll probably miss something. So this section... I think we need to kind of go this way a little bit. Still seems... Oh, look at those things. Still seems um, quite a way. How much does it take us to go here? Actually, not quite, not a lot at all, really. Oh, why has that got an exclamation? Just remove that. Let's go again. Oh, morning! Oh, a storm. Oh, no. Okay, so what was this? Because we're going to start getting cold. Let's use that. Um, seeing it's got a cool down, we can use it again. This is going to be a bit dodge. But we're going for it anyway. I want to get to those bits. That would be good. I don't know what they are. So we've got a cave there. And we've got some possible stuff over there. Um, energy is not too bad, is it? They're quite big climbs, aren't they? Yeah, let's go this way. I don't know what those glowy ones are over there. There might be something special. Okay, while well, moving through the rough, stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Oh, Dagnam it. Oh, is that it? Okay. <laughs> right, that's fine. We're okay. So. Okay, plus 50 energy cost on, oh, okay. Not too bad, because I think this is going to help us. Time-wise, anyway. Right, let's go here. We'll go to the cave. Might be worth going there.
You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Do we need to have a lay down? I don't want to sleep too long though. And then what if we don't find another cave? No, let's leave. I want to see... Oh, that was over here. How far is that? Oh no, I'm not doing that. Let's... Um... Just looking at the different routes here. get over to those things. Yeah, let's go for it. We have got some dangerous bits here. I definitely want to see what these items are. They look special because they're glowing. Not like the others that we had. We've been to one of these. That was the eagle one at the very beginning. But we haven't seen this like sun logo before. Well, there's one sneaky one there as well. So. Let's go here first. Our energy is low. It'd be good if there's like a cave. We have got a tent. Okay, there's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain. Energy. That gives a nice bit of energy. Yeah, I think we'll go energy. I think we need that at the moment. How much? Oh, actually it's not that much. I thought it would be a bit more than that. So let's go and have a look and see if there's anything decent here. And then we'll go to this one. Oh, there's a cave up there. I wonder if we can get up there. Let's make sure we're kind of going in the right direction. You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites hanging from its ceiling. Some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the staglotites. I can't even say it. <laughs> staglotites. That'll do. Onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing, trickling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. Oh, I'm very relaxed at the minute, actually. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You, too, are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Okay, we've got some sanity, so that's all up and topped up nicely. So we'll go here and then hopefully the cave. Temperature's not too bad. That's using a lot of energy, isn't it? Oh, so going down to go up again, and that's quite a big climb. I didn't see that. I need to take note a bit more rather than just jumping on in there. Steps have been hewed into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts some type of religious site or shrine maybe you're not particularly a spiritual person but somehow this place feels holy it might just be your imagination but you pray to the shrine for energy <laughs> definitely energy because we need to make it to the cave at least we've still got 18 hours for this sprained ankle where was that cave? Here's the cave. Mm. Okay. The, I'm taking it these are the icy bits. So the crampons should be helping us in this situation. 
Our health's not. How do we get better health? Okay. Can we go here? Ah, oh yeah, it's not too bad, is it? We're still kind of going the right way. Yeah, I think that's it up the top there. I think it's got a highlighted hex where we should be going. Cave would be good. Okay, you enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into darkness. Um. We can't see. We haven't got anything to see. Yeah, let's leave. 